Um, I'm Great Pear, um, and as you can see, I've got 320 followers. Um, and I promised some tutorials when I got to 300 uh, followers, so here we go. This is the first. Um, basically, um, for all these tutorials, I'm going to assume you know the basics. This isn't just, um, this isn't like XAKN tutorials. This is for people who, um, who know what they're doing and have been editing for a short while now. Um, but for people who are running out of ideas. Now, the, um, the name of the series is called Editor's Block. Um, and it's, it's a phrase uh, like writers use when they have writer's block. And, they, and they, they're running out of ideas. They don't know what to do. Um, and it, it's really hard to find motivation when there's nothing new to do. So, um, and this has happened to me quite a lot. So when you're running out of this is for people who are running out of ideas and just want stuff to get them back on track again. So the first tutorial is going to be, um, just pick a random... Yeah, that'll do. Um, uh, the first tutorial is just on like finishing touches. So the stuff you the edit's done, um, you've it's all synced, it's all everything sorted apart from the f finishing stuff, so you can render. Now the first thing, of course, is color correction. Now I this isn't one I've made actually. This is um, stuff people have sent me over a, over the time I've been editing. So there we go, and it's just, it makes the whole edit look, well, you, you just can't have an edit without colour correction, I'm sorry. As you can see, my laptop's really slow. So I'll show you with and without. So it just looks really bland without. Anyway, um, this is actually going to be a really short tutorial. Anyway, um, second thing is real smart motion blur. Now, um, I'll put a link in the description on how to get it. Um, it just it makes your whole edit look so m much more professional. Now, um, depending on what you're editing, my my settings are one one hundred, um, and for trick shotting, if there's any trick shots involved, please just leave it on the normal setting because these settings will make it disgusting, as I found out on Absolute Refraction. Right. So anyway, we've got real smart motion blur, which make, gives it a professional look and colour correction which just gives it the just brings it to life sort of I guess it makes it look a thousand times cooler um, anyway now the third thing is twitch now quite a lot of you like just think twitch is the shaky screen going crazy everywhere with the RGB split but um, Aspos showed me an actual a really cool uh, preset that comes with twitch um, and it's called Jitter um, oh, this always comes up um, and it, it, it sort of just, it, it, it sort of flickers the screen and it, it flashes, but not in an um, obtruding way. It's not, it's not the main, uh, it's hard to explain, but it just brings the edit to life when there's not anything happening. Um, so it's always moving, there's always something happening and people don't get bored. Um, so that's the third thing. I'll, I'll show you how to get that as well. I won't show I'll put a link on how to get that as well. Um... So those are the things you put on an adjustment adjustment layer, by the way. Oh, why am I saying this? Um, so those are the things you can put on an adjustment layer. Um, so there we go. And then you want to select them both um, and layer precompose. Now the third thing, the fourth, fourth, yeah, fourth, fourth thing I'm going to do is screen wiggle. Now, like Jitter, this just makes the whole edit look. Um, Oh no, it just makes it more interesting because it's always moving, There's, it just makes it look a whole lot more professional. So you want, you're going to want to go ahead and press Null Object um, and New Camera. Okay, just press OK for this. Now, um, what you want to do is press P once camera selected and then hold down Alt and click the p position stopwatch keyframe thing. So click that. Oh, no, that didn't work. There we go. Okay, now the screen will go black, whatever. And you're going to want to type in wiggle and then one, wait, in brackets, 130. Now, the first number is how fast it wiggles, I believe. And the second number is how much it wiggles. Actually, I'm not sure. It could be the other way around. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Anyway, you just want to click off that. And then you want to connect these up. So basically what happens is 
that's connected so that moves with the camera so that's sort of like a it gets dragged along where, wherever the camera goes and then you're going to want to connect uh, the actual pre-composition to that which curves like drags it along with that so it's all dragging along together um, but as you can see as it's dragging along the there'll be black bits where you obviously haven't it's obviously moved upwards so you're going to want to scale it up um, and just check through to see if there are bits where there's still black showing um, nope I think that looks good yep that's worked Okay, doke, so there we have it. That's just my first tutorial. Sorry it's not that great, it's, but it's, um, it's what I use in all my edits. And a lot of people have been asking about it. So, so there we go. Um, just trying to think if there's anything more I'd add. Nope, no, 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 that is genuinely it. That's all I add, uh, the finishing touches to an edit. So, yeah, hope you've, in, hope you've enjoyed, guys. Um, um, yeah. Just like, like the video. I know not many people are going to watch this, um, but I'm g I'm going to keep doing the series, whatever, because a lot of people keep asking me, and I I want to give something back to my subscribers. So, thanks for watching again. Uh, bye bye.